Hello everybody. In this quick video, we'll learn about three very important shortcut keys for text and paragraph formatting. Imagine you have a paragraph which has uh, multiple formats embedded in it. For example, I see this two words graph exchange in blue italics, the word choose in bold underline. Now, how about using a single shortcut key, I can convert this paragraph text into a format which looks like the one below. So all you have to do is choose the paragraph and press control spacebar. So it clears out all the format from the given text and technically the definition is removes all character level formatting. Now there's another shortcut key, the utility of which you will notice once I take you to another example. Let me go to page two. Notice this first paragraph. Apart from the different format that you notice on the text, I also notice that the line spacing in this third paragraph is not same as the previous two. Plus, the second paragraph has been indented a little towards the inside. Now, if I choose to press Ctrl space bar, it solves one problem that it clears the format. Maybe you do not want to clear the format, the bold and the underline and the color is important. What you want is something like this. Whoa, how did you do that? Let me show you. First, I chose the paragraph, then I press Ctrl Shift N, N for New, New York. I press that and it makes sure that the paragraph and the text reverts to normal style format. Let me show you another trick. I go back and let me in fact uh, reduce the size of the screen. Let me choose the second sample of the two. Let me press Ctrl Q, Q for Queen. So notice at a paragraph level, it clears out all the indentation. You can re-modify it. So in some cases, you will find Ctrl Q to be useful. In some cases, Ctrl Shift N to be useful. Notice the difference. The bottom one had seen Ctrl Q being applied on it and the top example had Ctrl Shift N applied to it. So either ways, both will help you retain the text level format, but getting rid of the paragraph level formatting. Let me show one last final example. I have taken these four bullet points from a website, Reserve Bank of India. So on the second one, I apply control space. On the third one, I apply control Q. And on the fourth one, I apply control shift N. Notice the differences in the formatting. Well, I, I see people doing the same thing using manual methods by saying, okay, make it black, no underline, no bold, by using all the shortcut keys to get rid of all the bolds and the underline and thereafter changing the font size and the name. No, you're not going to do that next time. You will be using either of these three shortcut keys. Let me optimize the screen size. So pause the video, apply this on our case studies and show your colleagues how fast can you be on word formatting. Thank you so much for watching the video.